everybody. How are you going today? I want to show you is, uh, the system this morning and then I'll take us outside and I'll show you the weather. So currently we're only bringing in 1150 watts about up and down and the state of charge is 85%. Now when we hopped out of bed the state of charge was 83%. Um, There's the time. Okay currently we're taking 1.5 um, to 2.5 amps up and down out of the batteries there's the battery volts that's the solar okay now the house is using between a, um, 900 and a thousand watts up and down okay all right now this is the second day of this now let's just go quickly outside. Excuse the view for a minute while I walk outside. Yeah, we've got the fire going. It's it's a little bit on the nippy side today. 11 degrees Celsius outside, 26.7 inside. And if we go outside, you can see it's a very cloudy, extremely cloudy, and it's raining. You can see the water droplets in the fish pond just, just drizzle, and there's probably three quarters of an inch of rain in the rain gauge there. And that's it. That's our day. It's dark, cloudy, miserable. And why am I showing you this? because that's the hot water system yes it's still on the temperature's at 57 degrees okay and we're looking at going to uh, 65 so even using hot water um, and in this weather, the batteries are slowly gaining. Remember, we were at 83%, we're now at 85. And we're taking one to two amps out of the battery bank um, while the hot water service is on. And as soon as that turns off, then the battery bank will fill up again. And that's um, all about building your system for winter okay if you build it for winter it doesn't matter if you're taking negative amps out um, like yesterday at this time of day it was even uh, really cloudy we had almost two inches of rain yesterday um, we were taking 17 amps out of the batteries we ended the day at 100 <coughs> percent excuse me so Build your systems right, build them for winter, and everything just chugs along and works really, really great. Um, matter of fact, this winter, since we've changed the hot water service, we've I've still got the uh, seven and a half kVA inverter generator, but we've gone and bought a little. Um, I think it, it puts out about three, uh, 2 point, 2.8 to 3.2 kilowatt um, inverter, one of those fuel efficient ones. And that can run my whole house. Okay, so. Even in weather like this, everything works as intended. And that's just totally, totally, totally awesome. 
totally, totally awesome. And uh, yeah, um, we're, we're just extremely happy with the system. We are extremely, extremely happy with the small amount of power that hot water service uses. And we're extremely happy with the drainage work we did on our house. Remember we put this in here, another one down there. Um, we found some roots and we found some broken pipes under the ground and we fixed all those. We replaced all the gutters and the down pipes. And as long as we don't get, like the coast is just over there. Now when we get heavy winds, it does push all the rain under here, which is, it's just a veranda, you know, so. But other than that, the gutters are working, they're not overflowing anymore. Um, everything is going absolutely, absolutely beautiful. And Mr. Fish just loves the rain. When it's really heavy, you just, oh, I think it massages him. He sits right up on the top there. So that's just a small video. The gutters down there need cleaning. There's stuff growing in them. Um, oh, one other thing. This is... We, the other day, now I didn't... I saw Western Power over there working. But it actually made the newspaper, yes. It happened so rarely, it actually made the local newspaper when we had seven power poles replaced in town. That's kind of sad, isn't it? Alright, keep safe everyone. Bye for now.